So I've got the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus right here. And today I want to show you how to perform the basic factory reset on the Galaxy Note 10, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, and the Galaxy Note 10 Plus 5G. Now I recently showed you how to bounce back from a boot loop and a brick, some, which some will call a bricked device for the Galaxy Note 10 series. And while that does work, that is one of the more, we'll say, invasive types of troubleshooting steps to get your device back up and running. In fact, if you run into a boot loop on the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 series, you can almost recover from just about any of them just by doing a factory reset. Now sure, there will be some where you need to actually flash the factory images like I showed you before. But knowing how to do a factory reset both in Android and from within recovery mode is great for bringing your device back to a working condition. So like I said, there's two ways to do this. The first is within Android, and we do that by opening up the settings application, which will start you up right there. And then we're going to scroll down a little bit until you see the general management section. You can see one of the sub options in here is reset and that's what we're going to do. We want to go in there and then look in the reset section. And naturally we're going to tap on the factory data reset option right here. You're going to see your accounts listed right there. Now if you're doing a factory reset to sell your device you're going to want to go back into the settings app and go into the accounts section and remove those accounts because you don't want to sell a device that has your accounts on there because they will need to enter your password to activate the device but once you have all that done you can just tap the blue reset button it will then ask you to confirm if you want to do the factory reset and then it will erase all of your data on your phone and factory reset the Samsung Galaxy Note 10. So that is how to do this from within Android and while that's great for you know right before you sell the phone or give it to a friend or family member it's not something that you can do if you've run into a boot loop or a bricked smartphone. And by that, that means that you are unable to boot the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 into Android. So when that happens, you're trying to turn on the device and it is either boot looping or it is just staying at a specific screen trying to boot into Android but unable to. So if that happens, then we need to boot the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 into recovery mode so that we can then do the factory reset. So if you're unable to boot into Android, you need to get the device into a powered off state. Once that's done, we can go ahead and press and hold the power button and the volume up buttons at the same time. And if you remember this from a previous tutorial, we're just going to hold these two buttons down until we boot into recovery mode. Once you get into the stock Android recovery screen, we need to use the volume buttons to navigate this menu. We are just going to press the volume down button until we highlight the wipe data slash factory reset option and then we're going to go down and press the power button to select that option just like within Android it's going to ask you, ask you to confirm whether you want to do this so we're just going to press the volume down button again until the yes option is highlighted 
press the power button to select that option and when we press that power button we're gonna see down here at the bottom it is wiping data you can see the partitions it's actually erasing whenever we do that and assuming everything goes properly you're gonna see data wipe complete down there at the bottom once we have finished with the factory data reset you're gonna see the blue bar is going to default back to the reboot system now option and if not you can just use the volume buttons to make sure that option is highlighted then we're just going to press the power button to select that option and that's going to reboot our Samsung Galaxy Note 10 and it's going to boot us back into Android now since we just did this factory reset this first boot cycle back into Android is going to be it's going to take longer than normal not only does Android need to set some stuff up but Samsung's One UI firmware needs to set some stuff up as well You just need to be patient during this boot cycle. As long as you're not seeing the same boot loop screen that you saw before, then you're good to go. Even then, it's best to just be patient right here. This is why I do these videos, because I know a lot of people can get very anxious and very worried about doing certain things especially on a smartphone that costs of over a thousand dollars so by having these videos you can actually watch them ahead of time but you can also follow along with me throughout the entire process You see it's booting us right into the Android activation screen. And just like I've noted in previous videos, mine only comes up in a non-English language because I imported this device so I could get the Exynos Galaxy Note 10 in the United States. So whatever your country of origin will be and your language of the country, that'll be right there whenever you start back up so there you have it that is how to do a factory data reset on the samsung galaxy note 10 the galaxy note 10 plus and the galaxy note 10 plus 5g